I'm Larry Anglesano at Aviation Consumer Magazine here with uh, L3's Todd Scott Skelton. You know, we thought it'd be a good time to do an ADSB ride along with the ADSB mandate growing closer. You know, and after all these years, there's still a lot of people that just don't know what ADSB does, so this would be a good demonstration. Uh, we're flying with the L3 Lynx NGT 9000, the multifunction transponder, which has gone through some extensive upgrades recently. Uh, L3's Jessica Power is going to tell us a little bit more about the NGT 9000, and we'll come back here to the cockpit, see what it looks like in the real world. With the Lynx NGT 9000, uh, with the new 2.0 software, we've added uh, Air ATAS, so uh, audible traffic alerting. And essentially what that does is it provides audible alerting and it reduces uh, the nuisance alerts because it knows exactly where that traffic is because it's receiving more information about the uh, traffic and if it's relative uh, to your position. Uh, we're going to continue to build on the technology of the dual touchscreen system that we have um, that really enhances the situational awareness, uh, especially when you're in the traffic pattern. We built upon the technology of the WX500, so we added an interface here so it can become the primary display uh, for your WX500 storm scope. Uh, it adds a page to your NGT9000, uh, improves your situational awareness because not only do you now have it on uh, like a Garmin 43530, uh, but you'll also have it displayed on your NGT9000 as well. Another function that we added with 2.0 software is we built upon our Class B terrain awareness warning system. So not only do we have ETAs, but we also now offer Terrain Vision, which is a lower cost uh, software option in which you can get some visuals, uh, which is very helpful when you're flying uh, in terrain. So we're taxiing out for departure on a fairly low IFR day here in coastal New England. I'm going to set the, uh, the NGT 9000 up. Uh, first, I have not put the transponder code in, so I'm going to get that out of the way right now. Uh, they gave us a code of 5317. So I put it in there and uh, it's in standby mode because, of course, we're on the ground. There's no point in looking at four numbers the whole flight. So with this system, I can just take it and swipe it out of there. I'll swipe it over to my traffic page. So now I have some useful information on, uh, on the left side of the display there. On the right side of the display, um, I'm going to put the uh, TAWS, play, uh, TAWS display on there. The reason I'm going to do that is it's pretty flat out here, but as you can see, there's a couple of towers out there and there is uh, a couple of uh, couple of hills. Just a useful information as I'm climbing out here to make sure that uh, I've got the proper climb angle if I was in mountainous areas or, or whatnot. Um, well, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the active traffic, which is an option in the NGT 9000. And uh, by doing so, I'll be able to view any uh, aircraft, transponder equipped aircraft that uh, may be in the area, may be in the traffic pattern perhaps, even though it's a low day, the clouds are high enough where someone could still be in the traffic pattern doing touch and goes or pattern work or whatnot. Or perhaps there may be an, an aircraft on approach. So if I scale out to the 12 mile range, I should be able to see if there's anybody on the approach. Today, I don't see, see anybody out there. So we're coming through 600 feet and the uh, FISB data is already filling in there on the uh, FISB page. So what I did here is I highlighted this uh, minus 10 ADSB. I want to get some information, and, and right away up in the right-hand corner here, the uh, flight ID came in. I'm going to hit the info button, and this is unique to Lynx. Um, we add a little more information the pilot can look at. We we have his ground speed indicated here at 177 knots, and we know he's a TIS B. We'll identify now. Uh, this is an addition that we did with version 2.1. Whether it's TIS B or ADSB, ADSR. ADSB would would either be UAT out or 1090 out. I'm going to highlight this uh, ground speed, and I'll show you why. I'll hit done, and now the ground speed shows stays there. So if if I happen to be following this guy into the airport ahead of me, and ATC tells me to slow down or or whatnot, uh, it's a good piece of information. So I'm going to determine uh, what speed to set at if I'm gaining on that target or not. So what I'm looking at here is. Uh, some of the nearby airports, uh, looks like most of them are yellow or green, which is uh, marginal VFR, so the weather is improving. And as you can see, as the radar data just came in, the heaviest rain is uh, moving east, and uh, we're, it looks like we're close to being on the back side of it. So worth mentioning in this airplane, uh, we've also got XM weather. 
Yeah, what, what we typically see in relationship to XM weather is uh, the FISB weather will come in, and, and in this case, you'll see some red areas indicating heavier precipitation with FISB. However, when you look over at the XM depiction, we don't see any red. Um, not necessarily a bad thing with the FISB weather. Uh, the pilot will be a little more conservative as he's navigating around uh, around the weather. All right, so as we're on about a five-mile final, uh, we heard somebody on the radio departing runway seven. Asked how far are we out, see if he had time to get out, and uh, there he is here. He's airborne. It looks like he's turned easterly, climbing out of uh, a thousand feet there. Five hundred. contact tower. And that was a five hundred foot call out above the uh, above, runway. Above the runway, correct. The goal for this product was for the least amount of modification to the panel. So you can remove your existing transponder, put in the NGT 9000, and for somebody who's never equipped their aircraft with any kind of WASH GPS navigation, you get a touchscreen moving map display. Base model starts at $6,000. It is very flexible for the Cessna 172 all the way up uh, to your turbine-powered aircraft. You can learn more about the L3 Lynx NGT 9000 at www.l3lynx.com.